This is very important uh, because uh, there is an opportunity for us to meet with other regulators across the globe, not only with the European regulators, but also uh, with regulators from uh, the United States and from the African countries. And I think that uh, we regulators have uh, uh, issues in common and uh, the GSR is a good opportunity for us to exchange views and the regulatory best practices so as to face uh, uh, issues like uh, the digital divide, uh, access to the information society, uh, and also spectrum issues uh, which will enable uh, uh, to us to create uh, growth and jobs for the citizens. Uh, as, uh, as you know, in Europe uh, we have uh, three major issues. Uh, the first one is how to create uh, a next generation access networks, how, how to promote investment uh, into uh, next generation access networks. Uh, the second issue has to do with uh, consumer empowerment and protection. And the third one, which is a hot issue, is to create a digital single market across Europe, uh, which will allow European economy to, uh, to grow and uh, to produce a, a consumer and citizen welfare. Uh, in terms of mobile broadband, uh, in, uh, in my home country we have uh, the possibility of 42% uh, of the citizens uh, to access uh, 4G, whereas the European average is uh, 24%. Uh, in Europe, uh, in order to, to, to see the broader, the broader spectrum, uh, there are um, uh, only 8% uh, of the European citizens that may have uh, access to uh, 4G, LTE. Uh, there are uh, 173 LTE networks across the globe with uh, one, uh, 100 million subscribers uh, and uh, Europe uh, is, uh, is unfortunately lagging behind. So I think it's a, it's a long way to go and we have to change the regulatory framework so as to uh, adopt a lighter touch regulation uh, and also a comprehensive spectrum policy, a harmonized spectrum policy so as to boost the European economy as a whole. Uh, I think that uh, the discussions at the GSR uh, were, were very important and uh, uh, the spectrum discussion is uh, a very hot one. I think that uh, the digital dividend, uh, the second digital dividend and uh, the time of releasing additional spectrum bands in order to use them for mobile broadband are of crucial importance. Uh, and moreover, I think that uh, the uh, financing of the universal service uh, is a very important issue. Uh, how are we going to finance uh, the universal service in order to enhance uh, citizens' access to the information society? Uh, there are two mechanisms. Uh, one is a market-driven one uh, through the creation of universal service uh, funds where all operators are contributing their fair share. And on the other hand, there are possibilities uh, that are, uh, that are uh, mainly driven by state aid uh, uh, financing schemes. Uh, which is also a difficult issue because now the European economy is in a bad shape and uh, the European uh, uh, bodies, the European Commission and the European Parliament uh, are not able to release the, uh, the necessary funds which are, uh, which are necessary in order to ensure a broadband connectivity, a universal broadband connectivity.